Good Monday morning to you. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marcher. So this is your outlook for November 4th, 2013. I'm going to start off with the GFS uh, forecast model here and uh, give you an overview of what's going on today. Uh, mostly sunny day, but it's going to remain very chilly again, much like it was on Sunday. Uh, that's because of this high pressure that's sitting up here uh, in southeastern Canada. And uh, this high is actually going to be influencing our, our weather over the next couple days, but in, in a different manner. Uh, right now, we have uh, the high, with the high being up here, the, the flow is kind of out of here, out of the north like this, and that's where you get that cold Canadian air just filtering down south here. Uh, what's going to end up happening here over the next couple days, though? Uh, you see here tonight it's actually moving off to the east here. Just follow this little this this H here, that area of high pressure that moves east here. It's now sitting over Maine as we get into the overnight hours. So uh, the winds the winds are going to start changing to a different direction. Uh, why is that significant? Well, it's uh, going to make it for, make make it so that the uh, you're going to have a, a marine flow, uh, which is an onshore flow, and uh, you see the high sitting way over here. Uh, and the flow around the high pressure being clockwise is going to send these winds in here from the east. Well, I can't draw draw worth of crap today. You're going to send the, uh, the the winds in here from the east here. Okay, get the drawing tool back on. Send the winds for the east here. Let's try that a third time. And uh, with that onshore flow, we're going to have some uh, some high stratus move through, uh, which is it, the stratus is basically like your cloud deck uh, at the uh, mid levels and lower levels. So we might have. Uh, Sometimes of the day that's mostly cloudy, some days it's just partly cloudy, and I don't think this gets too far inland because we're not talking about really strong winds from the east here. So uh, you might have areas here, like here, here's our here's our coverage area right right here. Uh, this is our entire coverage area. You might have say, say draw a line somewhere like from here eastward on Tuesday where you have a you know more cloud dominant day but you get a little bit west of there out towards Harrisburg uh, over to State College up to Williamsport places like that you might not uh, be done with the clouds so much so uh, it's it's not a very strong influence but one thing it will do is it will allow with that uh, marine flow it will allow the temperatures to moderate a little bit on Tuesday and the same thing goes for Wednesday uh, but this high is going to shift even further east on Wednesday here, and uh, here's here's a look at Wednesday. This is way off the map on east here, so you're, now your now your winds are not uh, a due east uh, flow, and you're talking about winds more out of the southeast. And uh, so I think the areas that were cloudy across Pennsylvania on Tuesday uh, will get will go back to uh, partly cloudy skies. You might still have a little bit of a problem right here along the shore points here uh, of New Jersey where you might have uh, some lingering clouds for a little bit longer on Wednesday, but uh, not, again, they're, they're also not as bad as it was on uh, Tuesday as far as total cloud cover. Uh, but we're watching this next system. This is our cold front that's going to be moving in here. Uh, it's going to be approaching the area on Wednesday night. And uh, here's here's the uh, early part of uh, here's Thursday morning. You see some uh, maybe a shower or two breaking out early on here on on uh, Thursday, but uh, the bulk of the precipitation moves in for the afternoon and evening hours here. And this is all uh, cold front that's associated with this low pressure that's sitting up here in southeastern Canada, moving off to the northeast. Uh, this won't be one that's going to be hanging around too long, so we're just going to have this uh, cold front move through, and uh, just like last time, high pressure moves in behind it, and uh, the, you get the the winds coming out of the northwest. And it's going to be a blustery day here on Friday, we think. Winds uh, probably sustained 15 to 25 miles per hour uh, behind this frontal boundary. Maybe be, maybe even be a snow shower or a flurry show up here in our far northern counties in the mountains here, but. Uh, you know that that's uh, not a not a big deal anywhere else. Uh, not expecting anything as far as snow or anything like that. But uh, northwest winds will be strong, and it'll definitely feel cold on on Friday behind this cold front. And then uh, Saturday we start to moderate once again, but uh, just like a few degrees, nothing nothing too crazy. Uh, we're not expecting any precipitation at all on Saturday whatsoever. Our next chance of precipitation will come uh, perhaps. On Sunday, but uh, you know, for the system going to our north here, but latest projections are, uh, are having the system go a little bit too far to the north to really affect our coverage area. We'll take care of the, take a look at that as we get closer uh, to the weekend. But right now, it looks like it's staying to our north. One thing I do want to mention here is uh, the long range here. Long range is really showing a warm up here, uh, ridge building in here from say like the 12th, 13th onward. And uh, with a strong ridge building over, over the eastern United States, it's going to warm up quite nicely uh, for about a 10 day or so period. It looks like between, uh, if I had to guess, somewhere between the 12th and up to about Thanksgiving. 
Uh, it looks like you're going to have a temperature is above normal uh, by a good uh, five, six degrees or so average during that period, which means temperatures are going to be back in the 60s for a little while since normal highs are uh, in the mid to upper 50s uh, to near 60 as we head down towards Philadelphia. But from north to south, that's pretty much your range right now for normal. And then we get into uh, this. Here's the CFS for that time frame. Now, this is actually showing from the 13th to the 23rd. And you can see the departures for normal here are warmer than normal. Uh, this light, these blues and greens here, this is all below normal. And here's your ridge just like this. And uh, because of that, you have a warm southwesterly flow and it allows temperatures to climb. And it looks like it's not going to be one of those things where it warms up for a day or two. It might actually keep, uh, keep for that entire period or pretty much most of that period anyway. Uh, so we'll take a look at that uh, as we get a little bit closer. Right now, we'll, uh, you can check out Mike DeFino's daily long-range outlooks where he goes in a little bit more detail, a little bit more to the technical side than I just gave you here. But it's looking like that time frame is going to be warmer than usual uh, for this time of year. That's all I have for today. I'm Eastern PA Weather 30 Meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for November 4th, 2013. Have a great Monday.